Yeah, welcome to my my channel. I'm driving, but I just have a discussion to talk about. It. Okay, so I'm driving to work, and I don't know if it's just me or what, but people at with with pickup trucks, they ass be trying to run your ass, you run you over on the freeway. Like, why are you in a rush? It's always a person in the fucking pickup truck. So every time a pickup truck come go behind me. I move, I move to the next lane, cause bitch, I ain't trying to die, cause you in a rush, cause you think you wanna be the king of the fucking valley. Get your ass away from me. That's so frustrating. I hate traffic. And look at this bitch. You can't turn right there. I can't stand traffic. So I'm on my way to work. People flying, cause you know ain't no police out here like they usually be. They not out here doing what they usually do, because people got this coronavirus shit and the coronavirus shit and all this and that. So, people just doing all kinds of craziness on the freeway. People dying every day in Houston and stuff because people are angry and shit. Man, I can't wait till this shit over. So, I had to get out freeway because there's always a fucking traffic jam right there before you get to Georgia or Brown Convention Center. And... I have to go through downtown with all these goddamn lights. People want to drive slow. Now, these motherfuckers drive too slow. Motherfuckers want to hate, especially when they see you on, when, in uniform. So I had to take my damn hat off. So these mo broke motherfuckers won't be trying to hate on me. I can't help that I got a job. Shit, a job that's hard, but it's, it's, it was easy Saturday, so I was good. So, I mean, I'm grateful, and I'm, I feel bad that a lot of people don't help jobs right now but it's it's not nothing i can do about it ain't no point of being in jail with somebody you don't even know they life you don't even know what's going on behind closed doors off out of traffic people got problems so jealous people for me got too many damn issues like what you jealous for you don't know what i got going on you don't know what type of problems i got on you don't know if i'm sick or, or in pain or i got family members that's sick i'm not the type of person that's going uh put out a pity party so people can try to feel sorry for me but that's it seemed like that's what you gotta do if in order for people to have some kind of fucking sympathy or empathy in their heart you gotta tell them your life story i'm not gonna tell them about my life story so you keep being jealous because i already take I, i've been saying for a long time and everybody probably already know god is gonna take care of you and i see it i always see it i just i i just be wishing that you wouldn't like you are because God is definitely going to take care of the evildoers. That's what I call the evildoers, like my mom used to call. So, y'all, anyway, I ain't going to talk that long. I got on scale today. I did lose a little weight. I mean, I ain't lose that much weight. Probably like five pounds, but my goal was 10 pounds, if y'all can't remember or not. And, um, but I got to get this weight off of me because I don't know what my inactive has been thinking about. Like, I've been depressed. I got to get, get, get out of that shit. Bounce right. Bounce back. Got my hand pulling to you. I still look chunky, but... Yeah, the traffic not too bad downtown. And... I'm going to stop making this video. As I pass this light, to get a little further. So, hopefully I won't be late. But it looks like I am going to be late. Because every time I go this way, I'm going to be late. And I got to pay attention to traffic. Because if I don't pay attention... I'm just rambling because I'm trying to talk as much as I can before I can show right. Anyway, I had to go and get me an energy drink. Because I am so full of no energy. I have no fucking energy. Because I couldn't sleep last night. Because the news won't talk about a million, 11 million people got coronavirus and this and that. That shit is just so nerve-wracking to me. Because my grandson, I don't know if people know it or not. But my grandson and his, and his mother and his siblings had coronavirus. You know, he had to go to the house. He was the sickest one. You know, it's 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 bad to get, but it was just like the other viruses. It's 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 hard. It's you, you your likelihood to die is greater. The risk of dying is greater. But I mean, you can die any day. You can die sitting in the house. You can die in your sleep. You can die in a traffic accident. You can die. There's so many ways you can die. You know, but it don't make no sense to sit in the house and die when you can be out there trying to enjoy your life and you can die that way.
that's how I think of it. But anyway, but everybody don't think like me. I mean, I, I don't think people should just be in the huddle. I mean, pandemics happen all the time. I don't think nobody should just sit in the house. And I think you should be, but I do think that you should be safe, as safe as you can. You know, prevent, take preventive, preventive measures not to get sick. Like, you know, wash your hands, you know, social, especially social distancing. I think that's work more than anything, social distancing. That work more than anything because, like, it's, it's, it's like like an aerosol can, you know. You spray it and it just sprays out and it then it falls to the ground. So you have to do your research to know that, you know, I do a lot of research because I do a lot of reading because I like to know shit. So... Yeah, social distancing and also um, wearing your mask. Please just wear your mask, and I think that'll work. My thing is, I'm scared right now. The thing I was thinking about last night, because I had a little rendezvous on last Sunday, and, you know, I was just, you know, tired of sitting in the house and shit and being cooped up doing videos, uh, fucking making money for uh, TikTok. They ain't finna give you no money for all of your acting skills and your hard work and all this. So I don't got time to play with them no more. But I had a little rendezvous. I mean, it was like, you know, close. This it was close uh, contact or whatever. But you know, I mean, I just hope that nothing goes wrong. So and um. Plus, you know, with the little spa thing on Sunday, so they got me a little weird. Then me and someone went to the the uh, trampoline park, and I was like, you know, that trampoline park shit. It was a lot of kids. They did take your temperature there, everybody temperature, and you know, and, and I look at it this way: so I'm gonna go to school, and my, I got my boys there, so they do stuff every day. Marcus work. They John don't work, but he go out every now and then. He works sometimes when he feels like going to work he's just lazy but he been sick he ain't been feeling good i hope he okay but um yeah i might be on time for work y'all but um <clears throat> yeah it's a lot of interactions i have to have you know my aunt my aunt come visit me and you know i have to go to work so it's not like i'm not the person that should stay in the house because i mean e even if i do just sit in the house and don't do nothing, I can still get sick for going to work, you know, because I'm exposed to the virus. I am a essential worker, so I say, fuck it, I'm finna just do what I want to do and just be safe when I'm doing it. And so, y'all, I mean, I'm just saying that because, well, I just, I'm not paying attention, but anyway, <laughs> well, the reason why I wanted to get on, because I just wanted to talk about these motherfuckers that can't fucking drive. Uh, these motherfuckers in these pickup trucks think they the king of the jungle. The king of the road. Get your tired competitive. I can't stand competitive people. Ooh, I can't stand competitive people. What you competing for? What you racing to a red light for? Why are you racing to a red light, my nigga? <sighs> Child, yeah, I got this tight ass sports bra. You know, when you walking and holding shit, you gotta make sure you have a tight bra on so your tits won't just be out of place and swinging and hanging and shit. Especially if you got big ass titties, so you gotta wear something tight. But this shit don't fit right. But I just got my shit gathered up in there. But anyway, that's the whole conversation. I just wanted to let you guys know that y'all need to watch these people in these pickup trucks. I don't know what, what kind of mentality they got. They feel like they're the king of the road. They want to run you over and shit. And I hate, you know, I got used to driving an SUV. I hate driving this little bit of ass car. But it gets me where I need to go. And, um, and that's it. I think I'm going to be a little, you know, on time for work. I'm happy. Like, I'm going to go this way all the time. I was mad because I was like, these motherfuckers want to drive slow. And the other motherfuckers, the motherfuckers in pickup trucks want to drive fast and the, the other motherfuckers won't drive slow so you just be caught in between the two like you in a a, 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 a triangle what they call it like you're having a threesome <laughs> well, you're like you be in a triangle and a tangle like entanglement so yeah so yeah 
I had to get off that entanglement ass freeway that I was in on. And so, y'all have a blessed day, and I'll get back with you later. And I know I'm rambling all this shit, but, you know, it's a YouTube channel. So, subscribe to my channel. Okay. I'm at the light right here on Montrose. Have a blessed one.